Hey guys, Ginger here. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about some of these series that I really would like to finish in 2020. Also, I want to apologize for the lighting today. It is storming, but this is the only day I have to film, so we're gonna have to just deal with it. I have a list of 12 series that I really just want to either finish or start and finish in 2020. Some of these are not finished series, but a lot of them are. So it would be really awesome if I could get a chance to complete them. Many of these I own at least the first book in the series or have read them. So they're all books that I'm really excited about and the premises really intrigue me. So without further ado, let's get into talking about them. The first series on my list is the Ark of a Scythe trilogy, which the Toll just came out at the end of last year. So this is a recently finished series. I read Scythe last year, absolutely loved it. Five out of five stars. I loved Neil Schusterman's writing and the plot slash setting slash world that he created in Scythe. So I'm really stoked to read Thunderhead and The Tool this year. I had originally planned on reading them in January, but school and mental health stuff got in the way. So we're still gonna read it, but it did get kicked back to an undetermined date. But yes, I am super excited and I do own the entire trilogy, so that is also exciting. Another series that I own all of is the Folk of the Air trilogy or the rest of the books that follow the Cruel Prince. I read the Cruel Prince I think two years ago and I gave it four out of five stars so I liked it enough to continue but then I just didn't. I remember the general plot and characters of this book but I'm not super familiar with any details so I might reread this one before I can finish the trilogy so that might be a reading vlog hopefully but I do own the entire series now so I should just be able to fly through it and not wait for any to come in the mail or anything so this one is at the top of my list to get completed hopefully in the sooner half of 2020. The next one, again, is one that I own the whole trilogy for, and that is the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. Another one that I completely adored the first book, and I just am a little afraid to continue on just because the other books are so big and kind of intimidating, and I'm also afraid I'm not going to like this, the rest of the series as much as the first one, and I absolutely adored this one. So I really just need to get over it and finish the other two books and hopefully I just love it as much as this one and all of my fears will be resolved and I will love it. Moving on, the next series, I think it's also a trilogy, is one that I recently started but I really enjoyed it and that is the Winter Night trilogy uh, where the first book is The Bear and the Nightingale. I read this one in December of 2019 so only a few months ago and I just thought this was a great adult fantasy novel that really was atmospheric for the season and it was also very unique and it's just something I really resonated with. I gave it 4.5 out of 5 stars and so I'm really excited to continue on with the trilogy. I do not own the other books but they are on my Amazon wish list. so when I get some extra money I'm going to purchase them or borrow them from the library so I can continue with this. Next on my list is a series that I have not started yet but I do own the first book and that is The Renegades Trilogy by Marissa Meyer. Uh, this is much bigger than I had first thought it was but then when I got the book it was big and I really shouldn't be surprised because The Lunar Chronicles which is one of my favorite series of all time is a pretty hefty series so I really love the anime My Hero Academia and this just resonates vibes of that anime. There are superheroes or people that have superpowers and it's a good versus evil type of thing and I really love Marissa Meyer's writing style so I'm hoping for really great things out of this series and once I finish this one and know if I like it or not I will probably go ahead and complete the series for my shelves and read it this year. Next we have one that I'm actually halfway through and it is a quartet and that is the Three Dark Crowns series by Kendar Blake. I have read Three Dark Crowns and One Dark Throne and I've buddy read both of these with my friend Ariel. They've been really fun. I own the first book but I read the second book as an audiobook and I think I'm going to continue on the series in that format. I really enjoyed the audiobook and this is a series that is not like my absolute favorite but 
every the, so far the two endings of each book have made me really intrigued to pick up the next one so I am so far enjoying the series and I really want to finish it because I started it and I like to complete things. <laughs> Another book that I super enjoyed when I read it and I have to continue on is The Diviners and The King of Crows which is the fourth and final book in the series just came out I think this month so I it is a perfect year to binge this series since the last one is out I can just sweep right through them. I read this the year before 2019 so 2018 and I just really adored it and I'm upset that I didn't just continue on then because this was a world that was so unique and again Love of Bree's writing style was so great and I'm super super excited to continue on with this but I just haven't yet. I do own Layer of Dreams which is the second book in the series but I do not own the last two but this one is also a really chunky series uh, but because of the world and characters and all that, I think I still will be able to get through this very quickly. I just have to pick them up and read them. The next one on my list is the only one where I don't own any of the books in the series, but it is also the shortest one. It is actually just a duology, and that is the Hazelwood, uh, with the second book being The Night Country, which just came out in January. I normally wouldn't resonate towards a book like The Hazelwood, but for some reason, I'm really intrigued by it. So I really want to pick it up and since the second book came out in January it kind of made me really want to pick it up. So it is on my list for this year. I haven't been able to find it at one of my local libraries so I think I am going to have to purchase a copy. However Book Outlet does have it for I think six dollars right now so if I just go ahead and make a Book Outlet order I could get it. It's just telling myself that it's okay to make a, one of those orders. <laughs> So I'm really stoked to see if I like that one. Like I said, it's the only one on this list I don't own, but I'm still really excited for it. So hopefully it's a good one. Next on the list is one that I own, but I'm not gonna show you yet because it's still in the box set wrapped because it's like my baby for some reason, even though I've never even read it. But that is the Darker Shade of Magic trilogy by V.E. Schwab. I purchased the trilogy because this is a series that I just am so excited for. I think the premise sounds great. A lot of people love this series and so I just really have high hopes for it and so I am actually going to be buddy reading that with a couple of my friends in March so I'm going to get the ball rolling. I've been so afraid to pick it up because of my anticipation for it but it's finally time. I need to read it so I guess I'll be breaking that plastic pretty soon. <laughs> Another series I started last year and have I'm just so excited to continue with is the Truth Witch series by Susan Denard and oh my goodness I was not expecting to like this one as much as I did. When Truth Witch first came out it was a pretty big on booktube but no one was really saying if it was good or not so it's been kind of in the back burner but it was one that kind of inter interested me from the start. I got my hands on it. I read it for the newts, I believe, and oh my goodness, this was so great for a YA fantasy. And I don't say that in a bad way, just I tend to like adult fantasy more. So I was so pleased to find a young adult one that I absolutely love and I immediately went and bought Wind Witch. It's sitting on my shelf but I have not continued yet. Uh, again I'm just kind of afraid to get back in the world and have to wait to continue on. I know that Blood Witch is also out but I'm not sure when the next one in that series will be coming out so it's kind of a waiting game. And so this one is actually one that I won't be completing this year, but I would like to at least catch up so I'm ready for the next book in the series. Then we have another one that I haven't started yet, but I really need to because it's super popular and I've just been saying I'm going to read it and I haven't yet. And that is the Nevernight Trilogy by Jay Kristoff. I just have heard really, really good things about this series. It's a lot of people's favorites and it is an adult novel follows our main character Mia who is an assassin and so there's a lot of aspects that people really like about this series and it does sound intriguing. However I did try to start Kristoff's other tr series which was The Lotus Wars and I was not resonating with that writing style whatsoever so I'm a little worried to go into this but I do own the first book and again the anticipation is killing me and everyone's hype of this book so I am going to at least start it this year. I would like to finish it, but it's 
been on my shelves for a little bit. I gotta get to it. And we're finally to the last one. Not the least, but it is the biggest series on this list. So I'm a little ambitious. And that is the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas. I read Throne of Glass last year. It was the first book I read for 2019 and I really did enjoy it. I was surprised. There's a lot of people who think this is overhyped. There's a lot of people who love this series so I wasn't sure what to think but for this first book I was actually really intrigued so I ended up going out and getting Crown of Midnight but it has been on my shelf for a whole year and I haven't touched it yet. I do not own the other books in the series, but if I do like Crown of Midnight, I will obviously continue to buy them or get them from the library if I am afraid I'm not going to like it. But I do really want to finish this this year. I'm really behind on this series and Sarah J Maas in general, so I need to get to this and be able to incorporate my thoughts into the booktube community on such a popular series that I really just need to get to and finish this year. So there you have it guys, those are 12 of the series that I would like to finish this year. A little ambitious considering I have many more on my shelves and a lot of standalones and a lot of ideas for this year. But besides that, that still gives me a pretty big amount of series to choose from this year and I plan to do reading vlogs for a lot of these, especially like the trilogies that I'm planning to read and whatnot. And yeah, I'm just, I'm excited for all of these. It's kind of hard to pick which one I should start with, but I will. I'll figure it out because I always do. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if some of these are your favorite series, which ones you think I should read first, and if you'd be interested in seeing some reading vlogs for some of these series so you can see my thoughts on them as I'm reading them in present time, but you would be seeing it in not present time. You, you know what I mean. I thank you guys so much again for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a like, hit that subscribe button to see more of my content in the future. But until that future, I will see you all in my next video. Bye!